Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today on the video, guys, we're going to be talking about duct tape. Specifically, can you fix an aircraft using duct tape? Is it allowed? If it's not allowed, what can you use duct tape for? And what do pilots do if they find damage to the aircraft during a walk around? Stay tuned. This video is brought to you in cooperation with Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is an online learning uh, community with thousands of high quality courses and pretty much anything that you can imagine. If you use the link here below, you'll get two months absolute for free to try out their premium membership. So watch this video and then check out the link. Right guys, I bet that you have, just like I have, seen these pictures of scared aircraft passengers who's looking out through the windows, filming or taking pictures of what looks to be engineers applying duct tape to an aircraft. Now, I completely understand that people get scared when they see that. I mean, seriously, you wouldn't even use duct tape to fit, fix up your car. Why would you use it on an aircraft? Well, the question we should ask ourselves, is it likely that it's actually duct tape that you're seeing? And also, what is it that they are applying it to? So, for example, this video, it was shot by an EasyJet passenger uh, during 2015 and it got completely viral. It went, uh, it was shared a million times on Twitter and it was even picked up by some of the major news networks around the world. And what it shows is, as you can see, uh, what looks like a, uh, an engineer applying duct tape to the engine cowling of an Airbus 320. Now, what you're actually seeing here is an engineer doing a perfectly okay and certified maintenance job. Okay. The, what you think is duct tape or what looks like duct tape is actually a, a completely different kind of tape. It's called speed tape. And while uh, you might buy a um, roll of duct tape for maybe three, four dollars, one of those rolls is gonna put, it's gonna put you back about 700 to a thousand dollars. It's a completely different animal, all right? This um, speed tape is made to be able to endure speeds that range the whole range of uh, what the aircraft can fly, okay? It also is pressure sensitive and it can withstand all the different temperatures that an aircraft can find itself in, from plus 50 on the ground to minus 65 at cruising altitude. So this is a very, very expensive and very highly technical piece of equipment. And also, what you need to understand is that speed tape can be used as part of a maintenance procedure on non-load-bearing parts that needs to be temporarily fixed. Okay, so this means that this is not a permanent fix. This is to, um, to for example, if you have a part of the aircraft which is purely aerodynamical, which doesn't have a load-bearing part, so that would be maybe a part of an engine cowling or a... Um, uh, you know, the, the uh, aerodynamic fittings to the trailing edge um, fairing mechanism that I've talked about in the previous podcast. Well, if, if you find a crack in one of those, then providing that maintenance control can actually measure the crack and see how big it is and where it is, speed tape can be applied in order to allow the aircraft to continue to operate maybe for two, three more sectors before it reaches a maintenance base where a proper fix can be done or where the part can be replaced. So, once again, it is speed tape, it is not duct tape, and it's only applied to non-essential, non-load-bearing parts of the aircraft, uh, and it's a temporary fix, okay? But I do understand why people get, uh, get afraid when they see this. Another thing that you have to, um, to remember is that if you are actually seeing one of those fixes fail, so let's say that you're flying on an aircraft and all of a sudden that speed tape that we just talked about start to loosen and start to flap around on the wing or whatever. It is not dangerous. Okay, once again, this would have been applied only on a non-load bearing part of the aircraft. And even though it looks very bad while it's flapping around and maybe showing a gaping hole, it is not actually dangerous. In fact, in most of the cases, the part that you're seeing could actually be removed and it would come with a performance penalty, maybe a fuel penalty, but that would probably be it. Okay. Now, that leads me into what if a pilot fights a damage like this when we're doing the walk around? What can we do? Well, 
Pilots are not in any way allowed to assess any kind of damage on an aircraft. This means that whenever we find any kind of damage, maybe it is a small dent, maybe it's a crack, or maybe it's something that's loose that we don't know if it should be loose or not. Whenever that happens, uh, the only thing that we can do is inform our maintenance department. So every airline will have a specific department with engineers that are trained to deal with this. Uh, I will go up and I will fill in the description of the damage in our uh, maintenance log. And as soon as I fill it into the maintenance log, the aircraft is grounded. It's not going anywhere. So anytime that I write any kind of damage into it, no matter how small it is, the aircraft will be grounded until an engineer can come and assess the damage. Uh, when I call maintenance control, I'm going to give them a description of the, uh, of the problem and they will then send out an engineer. And this has to be an engineer that are certified to work on my specific aircraft. So it cannot be just any engineer. It has to be an engineer that has 737-800 in his license. They're gonna go out, they're gonna assess the damage. And if it is a damage to a non-essential part like this, they might decide to apply speed tape. But if they do that, they're also going to follow a maintenance manual saying that, right, in this case, you can use speed tape. You have to do it in this way, with this amount of thickness, with this many layers and so on. So anytime that maintenance is being applied to an aircraft, it is always going to be followed an approved procedure. Okay. so. That's what we're going to do if we find some kind of damage. We will report it, we'll put it into the maintenance manual or the aircraft tech log, and that's it. So, can duct tape be used to, for anything else then? Well, in fact, um, yes, it can. So, this is a picture of a man on an Iceland air flight back in 2013. This man be became intoxicated with alcohol and started both physically and uh, verbally threatening and abusing his fellow passengers. So the cabin crew decided that they needed to restrain the man and they did so using duct tape. Uh, in a statement after the incident, Iceland Air actually said that duct tape formed part of the, uh, the normal equipment that the cabin crew had in order to deal with these kind of circumstances. Now, I don't think that that's very common. Airlines don't normally carry duct tapes in order to tape up their passengers. Uh, but in this case it was. Uh, there is also a very famous um, episode of uh, Mythbusters where they actually use duct tape to fix the skin of, a, uh, of an old, older type aircraft. Um, I highly recommend it. I've linked to the, um, to the episode up here to check it out. And also something that I want you to check out, guys, is my Instagram account. So mentor underline pilot. If you want to follow my day to day life, maybe see some pictures from the cockpit, picture from my home life, stuff like that, then I highly recommend you to go into Instagram and check it out. Uh, before we go, I also want to say a special thank you to the sponsor for this episode, which is Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is a high quality online learning platform with pretty much thousands of courses and anything that you can think about. I personally use it in order to, um, to improve my Spanish, but uh, one course that I think that you guys would probably enjoy is a course where actual flight instructors are helping you using your um, home flight simulators to prepare for your PPL training. It's really, really good. Check it out. Use the link below. The first 500 of you who uses this link is going to get two months absolutely for free. So there's nothing stopping you completely risk-free. Check it out now. Have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yay! Take care guys. <laughs>